Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, we are a minimalist family who is a living big with less. And today, I have a new kind of video for you. I am off to Costco and so I thought what I would do is I would film for you not just my Costco haul but how I prep my fridge and pantry so give them a good clean out so that when I get home I've got space for, to put everything away as well as how after I've purchased everything I'll show you a haul and how I get it put away so that we've still got room for our normal groceries and how I make sure that we get through all the food that we've bought in a month which is how I manage minimalist shopping whilst at Costco. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'd love to hear from you down in the comments if you're a Costco shopper, how you like to store your food, and I hope you enjoy. my fridge and freezer is absolutely key in getting everything in there after I've been to Costco and it's also a great opportunity for me to get rid of anything that's sort of been lurking around and give everything a really quick wipe over because I only go to Costco once a month it's a perfect opportunity to get everything straightened up for the month whilst making room for all the new things that I'm bringing in every time I close my eyes it's gonna When I'm clearing out my freezer, I'm really just consolidating into any smaller bags, anything that we've used up, as well as just grouping like items together. So when I get home, I've got a lot of clear space to put in the new freezing cold stuff. We try and eat as much of our fridge, freezer and pantry down each month. So when I'm going through my pantry, I've usually got lots of empty jars. These are the jars that I take to our bulk food store to pick up like nuts and TVP and any grains that I'm collecting from the bulk food store. So it's also a great opportunity for me to inventory what we have in our cupboards. We try not to keep a huge stockpile and it just keeps everything really easy each month. Hey guys, we are home from Costco. And I thought what I would do today, instead of just doing a Costco haul, a lot of you asked about how I store it and how my I organize my fridge and my pantry. So I thought what I'll do today is I, as I unpack it into my fridge and pantry, I will let you know what I got and how much it cost and how I store it. I have a little boy who's having a milkshake over there so hopefully he'll be nice and quiet for us won't you Baba? okay so let's get started i always try and undo unpack my fridge and freezer first obviously because their stuff is cold the first thing i got was this big box of trust tomatoes they smell delicious they were six dollars for two and a half kilos which worked out to be a great deal especially because we go through a lot of tomatoes sandwiches salads that thing so we just put this all in our fresh fruit section i got these stone dippers they are like little tiny naan breads i do them in the toaster they are delicious if you're gonna make like a curry or to put out with dips these were on sale so this big box was five dollars I think that's a great deal because if we go to buy a naan bread from the Indian place one naan bread is more than five dollars so I really love these 
We are in the middle of summer, so I'm gonna put my bagels in the fridge so they don't go moldy. But I got one plain bagel and one cinnamon raisin. These are two for $10 and they're six packs. So they work out almost the same price as the ones from Aldi, but I do love these ones a little bit better. I just think they've got that more traditional bagel chewiness. So I really like these two for $10. Now, I have never got these before, but these were such a good deal, guys. They were, they're like these little French baguettes, half baguettes they were called, and you get six of them for $3. That's like 50 cents each. I know whether we're going to have them, like maybe it's like sloppy joe type things. I can cut them up, make some homemade garlic bread, or serve them with soup. These are gonna get eaten, and they were a great deal. I got a giant three kilo bag of carrots. I will chop some of these up at the beginning of each week. They are great for school lunches, for after school snacks, for my husband to snack on. This three kilo bag was only like $3. It was a bargain. So we've got plenty of carrots heading into the school year. I love this bag from Costco. It's how I bring all of our cold stuff home. And so some of this is for the fridge and some of this is for the freezer. I giant thing of Nutalex, which is like a dairy-free butter. It is $7.60, I think, for two kilos. It's a great deal. We use it all the time. So all I do is just put the full one at the back to make sure that this one gets used first. I got this giant thing of hummus. It is $5. It's my favorite brand. I love the Yumi's one. We will use that. This one is nearly empty, so I'm gonna put this one at the back and this one at the front. Cucumbers, they were two full of three dollars, which was way cheaper than at the supermarket. This giant rock melon, or uh, what do you Americans call it? I think you Americans call it cantaloupe. Anyway, it smells delicious. This was three dollars for a really big one. It's like as big as my head. And it smells really good. I this giant thing of three berry blend, raspberries, blueberries, and blackberries. It is two kilos and it's $12, which works out at a really good price for berries. And pineapple chunks, they were $11 for, I've got berry juice everywhere, 1.8 kilos, so almost two kilos of pineapple for $11. I really like it. It works out cheaper than me buying the whole pineapples. I'm just going to clean up this berry mess. So my find of the day was this chocolate chip cookie dough. It, it says it makes 93 cookies. I'm so excited to try it. It is vegan, non-GMO. I'm sure it's not super healthy it's got lots of sugar in it but I thought it would be really fun to either make cookies or to have as a special treat and this was $11 but it's 1.3 kilos and I know that even those small rolls of cookie dough at the shops are like four or five dollars so I'm super keen to check this out okay guys so that was all my fridge and freezer stuff the only other thing I have is these bananas they were uh, $3 something I think and there's two and a half kilos here so that worked out like super good deal for bananas at the moment so I got one thing of those for us to eat fresh now I'm gonna put all of our pantry stuff away so I do store some in this pantry and some in my linen closet so what I usually do is pull down our snack box and pull some out to have on the go and then I'll put the rest in our linen closet. The first thing I got was these soft and chewy granola bars. My teenage son really, really likes these. So I, going back to school, they are really handy. Now you get 64 bars for like 14 bucks and that works out super cheap. So they're not the healthiest thing in the world, but they're good to have in a pinch. So I usually just pull out, you know, like eight or 10 at a time. The same with these 16 pack of microwave popcorn. I really like to have it for snacks and that sort of thing. These are $13 something and you get 16. So they're working out about 80 cents a pack. 
so quick and easy. If I need them for school lunches or snacks on the run, I love these. I got this giant bag of washed potatoes. It was 2.5 kilos and it was like $3 something. It worked out like $1.50 a kilo, so that's super good. I just store them down the bottom of our pantry. This giant thing of peanut butter, I love it. We go through a lot of peanut butter in this house and it's just super handy for me to have it. This is $9. These crispy coconut rolls, we love them. They are on sale. You get this giant bag for $5. So you get 285 grams, even at Aldi for 140 grams, I think it is. It would cost me about $4. So this I'm getting like twice the amount nearly for only a dollar more. That just goes into our snack basket. Some hot chocolate. This was $13 something for 1.5 kilos. Even if I get this on sale at the supermarket, I very rarely get it for this price. So the everyday price at Costco is about 90 cents per 100 grams. For me to not even have to think about it, that it's always there as a good deal. I don't get it every time, but I do like to have it here for the kids for a special treat. And I put that right up the top so the kids don't ask me for it all the time. And normally I would buy like little packets of chips for the kids to take in their lunch boxes sometimes. But the kids have switched to like a bento box style lunchbox this year. And so I thought I'm going to try buying one of these ginormous bags of corn chips that the kids can then take with salsa or dip in their school lunchbox. So this was 700 grams for $6.30, I think. And that works out like better than what I can even get on sale at Woolworths. Plus I've got this big thing here. We can also, if we have like burrito bowls, sometimes we crush some chips up on the top. So it's a handy thing to have in the cupboard. Hopefully they don't get all eaten in one go, but we will see. So then I'm just going to pop our snack box back up the top there. So that's where I can grab kids snacks from. And then I'm gonna put the extra stuff into the laundry and I'll show you what our pantry looks like. So guys, I hope you like this video. I would love to chat with you down in the comments. If you're new here, we would absolutely love you to have you subscribe and join our YouTube family. Here are some other videos we think you might like and I will catch you guys in the next one.